the existing power holes are in operational. And in celebration of life, Kenya's first female member of parliament, Grace Onyango, who died yesterday, has been eulogized by her family as a loving and supportive mother, aside from her tight schedule during her stint in parliament. Her daughter, Pauline Akwacha, who confirmed her demise, says, a mother's mark in the country's leadership is indelible. National leaders led by President William Ruto and Azimio leader Rail Odinga have also eulogized the late Grace as a trailblazer, as Alan Ochanda reports. At her home in Tomboya, a state Kisumu County, the late Grace Onyango's relatives have gathered in groups, perhaps reminiscing the nostalgic moments they spent with their departed matriarch. <laughs> Her daughter, Pauline Kwacha, terming her mother's death as a blur, saying she was a great pillar for their large family, who despite a tight schedule as a member of parliament, she never failed in her role as a mother. Mama has been our mentor. She has been a father, a mother, a teacher, a politician, a housewife. She's been our prayer warrior. Mama is prayerful. Grace first broke the chauvinist barriers when she was elected as the first mayor of Kisumu in 1965 after winning the Kaloleni Ward councillor seat before going for the Kisumu town parliamentary seat in 1969 in a male-dominated field and surprisingly won, becoming the country's first woman member of parliament. She was also the first woman secretary general of the Luo Union and last year, Onyango was recognized by former cabinet secretary for public service and gender Margaret Kobia for her contribution to women leadership. <laughs> All these firsts, her family and locals from Kisumu say placed them on the national map. Mama alikuwa ya benadamu tafauti na watu wengi. Kwa mana lengo yake alikuwa ni lengo ya kusaidia watu. Hata kama ijui wewe. Hapa kwa ke sisi tulikuwa na kaga hapa. Wakati wacheza yote, sisi wapana enda kanyumbani. Wakati mwoye ya lekua nataka wale ambao coordinators ya kura yake. Mama ndi ya lekua na mkubwa na uselu nyalik the late. We are very proud that in Kenya as a whole, the first lady to be counselor in the whole country came from our home. And we are very proud of that. Second, the first lady to be a man in the whole country was came from our home. National leaders led by President William Ruto, eulogizing the departed heroine, saying she opened the doors for the participation of women in political leadership. President Ruto, in his message of condolence, says, quote, she was a woman of great courage, deep patriotism, and unflinching courage. Her legacy will endure through every elected female leader for generations to come. End of quote. Azimio leader Raila Odinga, while condoling with the family, says, quote, Nyabungu, as we fondly call her, illuminated independent Kenya political landscape with strides of, quote, first. It was common to expect, quote, the first African woman something every time her name was mentioned. She was a leader and a trailblazer to the hilt, end of quote. Kisumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyonga taking Q2. In his message, Nyonga says, quote, she broke the ceiling in leadership long before the country started the campaigns for gender parity. Grace was selfless, focused, brave, and visionary. A mother and a grandmother to many, she will be remembered for mentoring girls and young women leaders. End of quote. Yeah. Onyango was a trained teacher. She died at the age of 98 while undergoing treatment at Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Hospital in Kisomo. Alan Ochanda, KTN News. Up in business, grain millers send passionately.